All through history, mankind has wanted to be heard, to have a voice, to be free to share and promote his or her views. Political views do shape society and state, but often do not align with the will of people. Democracy has often been the societal treasure sought for, and the struggle to find such treasure has come with a price, sometimes a very high price. The setting is June 4th and 5th, 1989, in Tiananmen Square, Beijing, China. Thousands of student protesters and administrators filled the historical courtyard calling for democracy, free speech, and free press in China. The demonstrators were met with resistance from the Chinese military as their actions were halted in a bloody crackdown known as the Tiananmen Square Massacre. Their former Communist Party leader died, who was working to introduce democratic reform in China. Eventually, thousands of people joined the students in the square with estimated numbers in the tens of thousands. At issue was the frustration with the limits on political freedom, multi-party government, economic crisis, and a faltering educational system. The initial presence of the military failed to quell the protests of the Chinese authorities decided to increase their aggression. At 1 a.m. on June 4th, Chinese soldiers, a police stormed Tiananmen Square, firing live rounds into crowd and killing hundreds. The Tiananmen Square Massacre, the world's outrage over what happened that day did bring change, but at a high price. The struggle for democracy is real. The passion to be heard is paramount and the resolve to see change is often deadly. But why? Why not peaceful resolution? Why not discussion and compromise? Can't we respect each other as much for our differences as our likeness? Peace. Peace, we say. But do we know what that means? Have we learned from historical lessons and loss and order for peace to flourish? Still today, society cries in protests and demonstration for political identity, equality, and a better tomorrow. But let us remember from the past and shout peace in the streets.